Okay, hey, hello everyone in YouTube land. I cover this channel. I cover every individual to come to this channel to this is a message with the precious blood of Jesus. I bind Satan, his demons, and his spirit of retribution, revenge, and retaliation in the mighty name of Jesus. Okay, people. Hello everyone, YouTube land. Choose you today who you're gonna serve. You're gonna serve Jesus or you're gonna serve the devil. Today is the day of your salvation, people. Your next breath is not guaranteed to you. I want to talk to you today about a lot of stuff going on, and I'm still talking to you about waking up. Everybody, to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, go to the description box and tell you everything you need to do to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. If you don't believe in Jesus, you ask Jesus to confirm himself. If you don't believe in heaven and hell, you let, hey, Lord, can I see heaven and hell? I don't believe it. And he will show it to you. I challenge y'all because I'm asking you guys to do this. It ain't for me because I already got God. I'm going to heaven. That's my goal. I'm going to heaven. Hello. All right. I'm going to do everything I can. I'm going to keep preaching God's word. Whether you like it or not, I'm going to keep preaching it because he told all his saints to do that. I'm going to do what I can to get you to heaven. Now, if you don't listen and you still don't take heed to his word and you wind up going to hell, dying and going to hell, it's on you. All I can tell you, if you refuse to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you die now, you call yourself, and you're going to go down, you might be screaming, for Jesus, please help me. I'm sorry before you hit the bottom. I don't know if he's going to get you, but hey, you better try it. Because I'm telling you now, you get to hell, they're going to torment you. These demons will torment you. And then you're going to go to the great white throne of judgment. And then you're going to the lake of fire because you refuse to accept Jesus your Lord and Savior. Those people that are out there mocking us, calling us crazy, good. I'm glad. I'm a new creature in Christ. So guess what? They did it to Jesus. Jesus said they're going to do They're going to hate you because they hated him first. They did the same thing to Jesus because we sound like him. And I'm happy because I'm in the world and not of the world. Thank you, God. Praise Jesus. This channel is not mine. It's God's. Okay? I ask him for different. They give me different. This is nighttime. This is different. These more angels sit outside my window. Hello. Okay? Look, people. The world is going up in a heck in a hay basket, okay? Christians repent for a holy God. Forgive uh, backsliders. Get Jesus out the box and repent. Uh, Catholics, you need to say the salvation prayer. Romans 10, 9 said, if you confess your mouth, the Lord Jesus, believe your heart. He was raised from the dead. You shall be saved. Stop worshiping Mary. She is not deity, okay? She had Jesus. Yep, she was Jesus' mom. That's it. She was not raised from the dead for sins. She didn't come down here from a spiritual baby to die for us. You worship a statue. It's idolatry. That's the first commandment. Because God said you're just God. And two, it's freaking demonic. Why do you think so many Catholics and people in all these countries that's worshiping all this Hinduism and all this stuff, these statues are being possessed? People, they don't have the Holy Spirit in them. Hello. It's demonic. Okay, you have nothing protecting you. Nothing. They'll take you over and take you out and you're done. Okay. Look, people. You guys have taken your freedom to a different level. I'm gonna tell you something. It's easy to take the US down. All right. You already know we ain't got no capability to stop an EMP tag. We don't. We don't have anything to stop it. Okay. We get hit with EMP all electricity down. We sitting ducks, people. It's so easy to take down the United States. Let's reiterate. He can send a nuclear bomb to the oceans, tsunamis. He can send a nuclear bomb to any one of these fault lines. That's a freaking uh, uh, earthquake. He can send a nuclear bomb to Yellowstone. He can take out the western part of the United States. He can send a bomb to the Gulf of Mexico. Hello. It's an active volcano in it. Why do you think the water is always warm? All right. And, that's a, and also a tsunami. Hey, he can take a nuclear He can send a nuclear bomb to the nuclear power plants on, in the United States. He can take a lot of stuff out. And you guys are running around like, oh, I'm so free. I don't went in the name of Jesus. Oh, let's not have prayer in school. Hey, let's make laws against the Bible. Hey, let's kick Jesus out the, out the system. No, you can't have Bible verses on your desk. Oh, let's go ahead and go run over the Ten Commandments in City Hall. I'm going to tell you now, if you think God don't see that stuff, you think God don't see that, you got another thing coming. And I pray you repent before a holy God. And accept Jesus for your Lord and Savior. Get all that stuff wiped away, clean, so you can start over with God. Because I'm telling you now, if you don't, you got a holy God to deal with. And it, I'm telling you now, USA is going down. Look, people, every little city got freaking tunnel cities, all right, by these closed Walmarts. 
Okay, the elite got tunnel cities where they're going to. They are on stocked it up and all this good stuff because they're expecting destruction and chaos. All right, look, y'all need to go past Paul Begley and start watching that guy's show. He go to buy him prophecy or everything go on. And we got a bunch of fishes or something died today. Mass animal death. Hello, fireballs. How many fireballs hit the planet? How many asteroids hit the planet? How many comets hit the planet? How many volcano eruptions hit the planet? Okay. How many earthquakes hit the planet? He goes over that. Okay. Y'all also need to be checking out Matthew Rogers Sky Watchers. Because you guys are not looking up. I'm telling you now, y'all going to be driving and y'all going to see this giant plant. Everybody going to see it and they going to freak out. That's why NASA's hiding everything from you. Kim Tran the skies. That's mass the population. And with the chemical falling on the food. We eating it. You know, I ain't worried about God. So I can eat poison. Nothing going to happen to me. Hello. I got Holy Spirit. Nothing going to happen to me till God come get me. I ain't worried about it. But y'all don't have the Holy Spirit in you. And y'all eating all this food. With all these chemtrails on it. Yep. You can get something to die. Yep. I got Holy Spirit. I got divine healing. Because Colossians 1st chapter 13, 14 verse already said, Guys, deliver me from the power and authority of darkness and translate me into the kingdom of history of the Son. And whom I have redemption through the blood, even forgiveness of sin. Hello. I got divine healing. I, I'm redeemed from uh, the power of authority of darkness. Hello. I got that. I ain't worrying about it. All right. Look. Y'all about to get y'all self right with God. Y'all that's over there mocking Christians, calling us crazy and stuff like that. You have a holy God to deal with while you mocking us. Those people that mocking Jesus, like New York Times, put out talking about uh, Jesus wasn't perfect. He wasn't a role model. You have a holy God wrath to deal with. I'm telling you, a lot of y'all going to pass away without accepting Jesus. And you got to, yeah, you see what I'm talking about. Y'all see what I'm talking about. Jesus is loving. Yeah, God is loving, but they got wrath too. And they're going to pour it out on everybody who mocking them. Mocking their children. That's why he said he just sit there and laugh because he see that your day of judgment is coming. Look, people, y'all about to get yourself right with God and stop rejecting Jesus. Time is up. I, I'm telling you, time is freaking up. It's so much stuff going on. And you think birth pain is only stronger and stronger, people. It's going to get stronger and stronger. Do you understand what I'm saying? More crap getting ready to come out the, out the box. We're in the end of days. And if you don't think we're in the end of days, you got another thing coming. Since we're in the Mississippi River, you can see the bottom of the Mississippi River. They ain't never happened. Since we're in freaking hurricanes taking out oceans and places. And drying it up. Tell me it's gone. Okay? Caribbean, a lot of the ocean places, gone. Boats were there. What's there? Dirt. How... Since when did that stuff happen? It never happened, people. You got, what was it? Something had dried up and disappeared. I can't remember what it was. It was at less than 48. The Euphrates River, yeah. The Euphrates River is 80% dry, people. Why? Getting ready for Gog and Magog war. It's in the Bible, people. And y'all going to be here to see it. I ain't worried about it. I'm going home to marry some lamb. I'm going to God coordination. That's where I'm going. Now, you want to be on this planet and deal with all this crap that's getting ready to happen? That's on you. Y'all about to get yourself right with God. Time is up. And y'all Christians, y'all about to be praying to God to uh, count you worthy. And uh, give you strength to escape the hearts about to take place so you stand for the Son of Man. Hello. Luke 21, 36, people. Y'all shout. You should be praying it. You should be asking God to give you a clean, pure heart and move everything out of you that is not a God. And you should be repenting. So I pray, Christians, you guys are repenting and forgiving. Let it go, people. I hate to see you get left behind because you didn't forgive anyone. Backsliders, get Jesus out the box and repent. You said Jesus is five years old and started drinking and smoking when backsliding. And you just giving Satan everything he wants because he's going to take your crown. He's going he gonna to have a hay baby with you. When the church is gone, the remnant left, you're going to be running for your life. And you better not renounce Jesus because you do. You, and take that mark on your forehead and your right hand and worship other than God. You gave yourself a one-way ticket to hell and you changed your DNA, you are done. And that's to anybody. Y'all about to get your life right with God. They do amass the population, people. Don't get on no FEMA camps and Google camps, Red Cross camps, because you ain't coming back. It's a prison. Those that got closed Walmart, I, I advise you to take some people. Y'all go back there and take pictures because it's a prison. Barbed wire on top and everything. Hello. Time is up. Keep playing with God. Keep playing with a holy living God. Time is up, people. Get right with God and stop playing around.
Or y'all, you never know. You might get mixed up with another demonized person that don't have God, the Holy Spirit in them, shooting up folks. Have you noticed all these people don't have God? You got the Holy Spirit in you. Ain't no demon going to possess you. Get yourself right with Jesus Christ, people. Time is up. And start reading the Bible. Book of John. Tell y'all about Jesus. Start reading Matthew 24, Luke 21. Dang. Start reading Revelation. Get yourself right with God, people. Time is up. Be blessed, people, in the mighty name of Jesus. I hope to see everybody in the clouds because that's where I'm going. Amen. Praise God.